this is an introduction to green terrorism. <clears throat> you may have the preconceived erroneous notion that oil companies are bad and the green environmental movement is good. I'd like to cause you to question your assumption. I'm going to point out that not all pipeline leaks are accidental. Some of them are deliberate. But first I would like you to see, is there anything unusual about the Keystone Pipeline, for example? suspect that at least one pipeline rupture was an act of vandalism slash sabotage slash terrorism and the perpetrator lied about it after the statute of limitations expired and he knew he couldn't be prosecuted he told people that he participated in the bombing but he falsely implicated another person in he's in trouble with the law for making a false statement to the investigators. Finally, I'll show you a supposed oil leak relating to oil line pipeline jobs. He showed a picture. This is a picture of a bullet hole in a pipeline in the Alaska Trans-Alaska pipeline. This is a bullet hole. This is well known. They even caught the guy who did it. He was supposed to serve 16 years. He caused millions of dollars worth of damage. But the green freaks want you to believe that all of these ruptures, all of these leaks, are the fault of the oil companies. I hate to stand up for a giant, but uh, the oil companies are actually the victims if you're familiar with the BP oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico you know that BP was victimized for an inconsequential tragedy a tragedy for them not a tragedy for the Gulf of Mexico not a tragedy for the seafood industry not a tragedy for tourism except that Obama made it so by declaring the seafood unsafe and by having his compliant, complicit media give the United States the impression that the Florida Gulf Coast, the Louisiana and Mississippi Gulf Coast, Alabama Gulf Coast was ruined, of course, tourism was discouraged. It was disinformation and bullying on the part of the Greens that victimized BP just as they've always victimized the oil companies. Do the oil companies make a lot of money? For every dollar they bring in of gross gross revenue, the government takes 48 cents in taxes. The oil companies get to keep six cents. You need to question whose side are you on? 
Are you on the side of the United States of America, which depends on abundant and inexpensive energy? Or are you on the side of the green freaks, the green terrorists, 